Hey folks, this is all about Androids.com, and today, as a request, we have Hyper Nonsense version 2.1 for the HTC Sensation. So, just like the name says, it is a senseless based ROM, and let's get into it. First up, you can see it does come with a nice, awesome quad lock screen. So, that's the one of the cool features you see straight as soon as you flash the ROM. Now, it is based on the um, Android 4.0.3. So let's just go take a look one second. 4.0.3, right there. And um, it is a Sense 3.6 code, but it has been stripped down until there's no, um, technically no Sense parts included with the ROM. When you first flash it, by default, you'll notice that um, it hardly includes any apps. That's the, the supposed good feature that it comes with because this is only 129 megabytes in size for a full workable ROM. So by default, um, it will come with like the browser, the, the phone, the people app, and the Play Store, and one or two others. But it won't have a gallery, it won't have a calculator, uh, and needed apps that you, you might need, basically. But it doesn't include those, and it comes in an add-on package, which is about 24, 25 megabytes. And you can just flash that through the recovery, and you'll be able to install the calculator and the other needed apps that come with. Uh, with that add-on package basically now um, as as this this ROM is actually the only one that I've noticed on XDA that comes with the Apex launcher so the Apex is basically like the um, Nova launcher but I, I it seems to have slightly more um, customizability like I've taken a look and it's just huge like the list of things you can do with this um, phone uh, with this launcher set up so a couple of nice features um, you can see these different effects so it has a card stack effect on the home screen which Nova Launcher does as well but it provides the digital clock that you only have for the alarm right there of course you can resize these apps there you go make it slightly bigger right here you can resize the clock as before so I'll make it a, oh one second resize and you can make it nice and small, make it bigger. Of course, the Google search bar, same basic ones. But then you also have some gestures. So if I go up, it brings the home screen preview. So you can see how many home screens I have set up. If I do down, it pulls up the notifications. So what's nice is since it, uh, sometimes it might be hard for you to stretch out your thumb and grab the notifications on the top, I've enabled the gesture to simply just scroll down and it brings the notifications. That's completely customizable. You can even set it up as a custom app as well. So let's go to Apex Settings, Behavior Settings. And if you guys take a look, um, right here you can choose the gestures. So swipe up, swipe down, double tapping, etc. So you can get some cool um, settings right there. Right there. Okay. Holding on the home screen gives you the traditional format uh, of adding widgets and wallpapers and stuff like that. But you can do the ice cream sandwich way by going to widgets and simply dragging it to your screen. If you take a look at it, it has included one more tab on the top, so the downloaded um, tab. So that's kind of a nice feature. It would be nice if it was more customizable to get something like your favorites or something like that. So that instead of scrolling through all of your apps, you just have um, just a solid uh, fav uh, favorites or frequent apps that you always use and it's always there. Um, the home screen is also in a loop mode, so right there, that again is fully customizable. Some nice uh, changes right here is the 55% for the battery life, it actually shows you in percentage, which is, uh, which is always nice. Now, um, like I mentioned before, uh, the ROM is really small in size, so it also doesn't come with the Google Apps. So you won't get Maps, you won't get Gmail, uh, all of those, it just comes with the Play Store as the only Google app and you'll need to download whatever you would like to have and um, another cool thing is the settings right there you get some nice quick settings for the brightness right here auto brightness Wi-Fi GPS whatever you like to have you can simply set it up um, as simple as that so this is technically um, all we have for this ROM it is pretty stable so far We've used it for a few hours, um, not too much of a lag. Actually, in terms of RAM usage, it is really great. It's about 300 uh, megabytes free the last time I checked. Let me just confirm. And running. 
So yeah, so it's pretty great on the RAM. You can see it's 334 around. That is free constantly, which is great. And um, yeah, as a whole, it's a pretty, pretty solid build. Uh, we expect some more customizations in the future. I mean, as of right now, it does give you many options with this cool um, launcher that we have. But within the ROM itself, we'd like to see some more cool things. So that's basically it. Um, I hope you like this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll get some more videos for you guys. We also have a Facebook page, a Google Plus account, as well as a Twitter. So please add us there. Thanks.